Hey, welcome back to the channel uh, where you get to watch me build a Minimax 1100R with a half VW modification um, to the front end. And um, what we're going to do tonight is we're actually going to uh, we're going to try and move toward getting this uh, sheeting in place, this uh, bottom sheeting. So you uh, saw this last time and the uh, the next thing that I want to do, the first step in this next process is actually to uh, flush route this plywood off of here. I just have a couple of staples that we're holding some things together that I have to pull. Um, everything is getting like really rigid uh, up here. So, uh, so that's good. And so I'm going to get these couple staples out. I'm going to uh, get the flush router out, flush uh, my router with a flush bit. And then we can actually route this away. And uh, once we get that, we can kind of take a look at how much we need to sand, uh, how much we need to sand this to match up. And we will, uh, yeah, we'll go from there and see how that, uh, see how that works out. So I uh, feel really good about it uh, so far. This is going really well. So uh, getting the bottom sheeting on will actually be a really big deal because that will allow us to then um, move on to uh, uh, pulling the uh, pulling the tail together, which is uh, which is also the next like really big step. So, okay, uh, I'm gonna get uh, kind of what I need here and get set up, and we'll get this going. All right, so up here, um, this is uh, about a sixteenth of an inch. Uh, they all start the same, and this, this ends up about a sixteenth of an inch higher uh, than the outside. And then once you transition, like right in here, they're almost almost right on, like right about there, they're about the same. And then it transitions, and then the outside actually becomes just slightly higher, um, very small amount actually. So, uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark kind of the spot where they're equal, uh, which is about there. So there they're all pretty much the same. And then uh, they just, just transitions where this one is slightly higher. Not right there. It kind of starts about here. So this section here has got to come down. And this section here has got to come down. And then it transitions. And then we get out here, and we're just the opposite, so... Uh, that side is closer. All 
All right, so what my plan is here is I'm going to, um, I'm going to lightly work this. Uh, I'm gonna lightly work it with, the, uh, with my belt sander and I'll do what I'm doing here. I'll just keep making some little marks uh, with my pen and then I'll just kind of work those marks out. And then I'll go from there and I'll, or I'll take my pencil probably and just make some pencil marks. Um, either one. And on the, when I get to the outside, uh, I'll just kind of do the same. I'll, 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 the outside is higher because of the angle. So all I got to do is just kind of fare this in with this, uh, take some of this off without messing with this. And uh, we should be good. So uh, now this, is a, this is a bit of an eating machine. So I have to be very careful with this uh, that I don't overdo it. So. And that's why I'm working with the uh, why I'm working with the pen. So uh, I make some some black on here. That means uh, I don't want to touch that black. So I'll do the same over here. Um, and I'm gonna try and work with the green. So. Actually go like this. Now here I'm working the outside over here to get it uh, flush up with this one. So. So once I get uh, once I get it close like that, then I can work it with the uh, sanding block this way. Now we'll just get the other one to the same. Uh, the same place this one is, and then we will uh, give it another go. All right, I got this spared in now. Uh, it wasn't too bad. I just uh, uh, just went at it carefully with this tool, very carefully actually, and, uh, and then I just slowly uh, just finished it up with the uh, sanding block, and then. Uh, now I've got just nice and uh, nice and even. There's like one little spot where it changes just a little. Um, so I may have to just work out here. It's actually from here on the outside. Kind of down the right here. So this is this area. Right I may have to just work that out a little bit. I'm pretty good here, pretty good there. And then when I get here, everything seems to be working out really well. Uh, some very, very minor differences. So here with my sanding block. <laughs> Right, so I'm really happy with that. Um, we're all good. So now I can uh, I can start planning the uh, start planning the sheeting. So let me uh, let me get that uh, piece of sheet up here, and I'll figure out where to stop here. If I look at my plan, it's actually got me stopping the 8 inch sheeting just about in the middle of this, uh, kind of in the middle of this member right here. So I'm just going to pick a spot. I'm going to say I'm going to stop it maybe 
right about there, so maybe right about there. So I'll just measure that uh, here. Same spot here, to the quarter. that. I'm just do a quick double check. good. Let's get a piece of sheeting. All right, so I just have my heavy bars holding things down. Uh, I've got it kind of centered now where I want it. So all I'm gonna do is come under here and trace an outline. Uh, I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Then I've got to mark uh, where my line stops here. Then I actually need to go inside and I have to mark the inside. Because this bottom sheeting will go on first and then this inside plywood will actually overlap the bottom sheeting and the uh, motor mount plywood at the same time. All right, now we can take it off and cut it, and uh, I can actually leave um, can actually leave all the lines just a little bit proud because uh, I'll just come back with a flush router and trim all the edges. So that's much easier than trying to get a perfect cut and end up cutting off too little. So uh, let me get uh, this off, get to the bandsaw, and I'll get this cut.
Got to finish the rest with the jigsaw. Okay. So I got that cut. Now the next thing we want to do is I got to go along and I have to actually mark. Uh, I got to mark where all my cross members are um, so that I can get them marked on both sides of the, uh, of the board here. And of course that's, uh, that's so we can uh, So we know where to put the epoxy and we also know where to staple. think that these, this is going to stop wanting to bend about uh, I mean I can force it clamped but I'm afraid that when I do that it's going to want to pop up here so bend up about a half an inch actually. transitions from uh, an eighth to a sixteenth. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll bevel this edge of the sixteenth, or the eighth, and then I'll actually bevel the opposite edge of the sixteenth and I'll overlap them. So now I'll go and mark all of these cross members, and then I will uh, draw the lines and I'll transfer them to the other side. And then we'll be in a, I'll sand everywhere that I'm gonna put epoxy on the uh, plywood. And obviously I've already roughed up on all of the other wood, so I have a little bit of epoxy to remove uh, back a little bit further. And uh, then I'll be, uh, I'll be ready to get this epoxy in place and I'll cut this half inch off. That'll help that. So. All right, cool. Let me, uh, let me do that.
got uh, we got in really good uh, really good shape. We got the bottom on, which means uh, tomorrow we pull the tail together, which is sweet. Um, yeah, so that'll be setting up. This actually worked out fine. I'm glad it took a half inch off that. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. You know I do appreciate it, and hey, I will catch you later.